Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to show you quickly how to download Microsoft Visual Studios to your system. I want to make sure I'm sharing my screen. Um, okay, so inside of your your um, resources window inside of the course, you'll see for your course resource, you see there's a link for a download Microsoft Visual Studios. You'll click that and you'll click the um, link at the top where it'll take you to the website. And when you're downloading, you're going to download the, um, the community. All right, because if you notice it says free trial, so at some point you'll have to pay for that. Um, so on your system, you're gonna do the free download uh, at the institution. If you're using the systems at uh, LBCC, the, um, the actual Visual Studios that we need is already downloaded on the computers there, okay? So once you down, you click it and you're waiting, um, you click the executable spot exe file um, we're gonna say yes and a lot of times um, visual studios takes a little time um, so let's just see if it will be nice to us today and not take that long <laughs> All right, so um, hopefully your yours is using the same instructions and you'll be following the same steps. So you're gonna continue. Um, a lot of times this, this um, process here takes a while. Um, my key thing that I wanna show you is to make sure that you select the appropriate platform when you're downloading. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pause right now. Pause. Once everything has been downloaded and, um, and installed, now it's going to ask you, um, what, you what all you want to uh, have on your system, so where you want to be able to work. So you know that if some of you probably have used Visual Studios already for C++, if you've been taking C++ course, um, which is totally okay, but now you, because you're dealing with Visual Basic, you will need to make sure that you have the Visual Basic platform um, and so that you can create the desktop apps that will create. So um, you will check the ASP here, .net, and web development. And you will also check the .NET desktop development, which will consist of Visual Basic. Um, and also what you're going to select is click the Universal Windows platform. All right, let me scroll down. We should have everything. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that should be it. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Mm, okay, so you're going to select those and you should have a button somewhere here. Let's maximize this. Board. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to install. So once you've done that, you'll see here now that is installing. Um, this often takes some time, which is totally okay. I continue to install while the others do. This might cause problems with the pause. Click retry to continue with your list. I want to. Um, I want to, let's just continue. Uh, we'll just allow it to continue. So once you, um, so it'll take a while, just allow it to download. Once it downloads, it should automatically open up Visual Studios for you. If not, you'll just go down and you'll just go to it and click on it. But no worries. I just wanted to make sure you select all the right workloads and platforms for your, for you to be able to complete your program. Let me know if you have questions.